Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Now, <clears throat> Patty has brought to my attention that you have decided this case for us. Is that correct? Yes. Now, before I accept the verdict forms, I want to mention to you that uh, our administrative and presiding Judge John Russo came up to uh, participate in this, as did Judge Dean Calabrese, who's right across the hall there. And I should point out that Judge Russo is not only the administrative judge for our division, he's the presiding judge for all of Cuyahoga County. So we're honored to have you here, and I want to thank you. Um, in every year, we handle approximately, oh, give or take, probably 25, 30,000 cases. And we cannot try every case. We try to resolve as many as we can, but sometimes it's just not possible. And when we can't resolve one, it's a great comfort for us to know that we can call on citizens like yourselves to take time out of your personal and business lives and resolve these matters for us. So for that, I want to thank you, even more so in this case because of the nature of the charges. So thank you very much for that. So if I could have the verdict forms, please.
I really want to thank you for all signing in the same spot. It makes this portion of the check-in so much easier. Looks like the signatures, there's been one per line, all different, so that these verdict forms appear to be executed properly. <clears throat> okay, with regard to count number one, we the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn, do find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated murder in violation of revised code section 2903.01b as charged in count one of the indictment. With regard to the firearm specification, we, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed the firearm, brandished the firearm, indicated that he possessed the firearm or used it to facilitate the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count one of the indictment. The second firearm specification, it's out of order, but it's okay. We, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about K. Tomola Kuzmik as charged in count one of the indictment. Count, the second specification, felony murder, we the jury did further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing or attempting to commit kidnapping, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count one of the indictment. Felony murder specification. We, the jury, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit aggravated burglary, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count one of the indictment. The next felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit or fleeing immediately after committing or attempting to commit aggravated robbery, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count one of the indictment. Count two, aggravated murder. We, the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn to find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated murder as charged in revised code section 2903.01b as charged in count two of the indictment. We further, we, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count two of the indictment. We, the jury, 
In this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed the firearm, brandished the firearm, indicated that he possessed the firearm or used it to facilitate the offense of aggravated murder as charging count to the indictment. Of course, the conduct specification, we the jury having found the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of the aggravated murder of Michael Kuznick, further find and specify that the defendant is also guilty of the purposeful killing or attempt to kill two or more persons to wit, Michael Kuznick and Trina K. Tomola Kuznick, as charged in count two of the indictment. Felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit kidnapping and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count two of the indictment. <clears throat> Felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit aggravated burglary and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design in count two of the indictment. <clears throat> the final felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately <clears throat> after committing, or attempting to commit <clears throat> aggravated robbery and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count two of the indictment. <clears throat> count three, aggravated murder. We, the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn to find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated murder in violation of revised code section 2903.01a as charged in count three of the indictment. The first firearm specification, we the jury in this case further find and specify that the defendant Joseph McAlpin did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count three of the indictment. Second firearm specification, we the jury in this case further find and specify that the defendant Joseph McAlpin did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed the firearm, brandished the firearm, indicated that he possessed the firearm, or used it to facilitate the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count three of the indictment. The next felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant Joseph McAlpin did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit aggravated burglary, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count three of the indictment. <sighs> Felony murder specification, we the jury further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit kidnapping and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count three of the indictment. And this one's out of order. It's the course of conduct specification. And we, the jury, having found the defendant Joseph McAlpin guilty of the aggravated murder of Michael Kuznick, further find and specify that the defendant is also guilty of the purposeful killing or attempt to kill two or more persons, to wit, Michael Kuznick and Trina K. Tomola Kuznick, as charged in count three of the indictment. Verdict for count three, okay, felony murder. We, the jury, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after, committing or attempting to commit aggravated robbery, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design, the charge in count three of the indictment. Okay. 
Count number four, aggravated murder. We, the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn, do find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated murder as charged in revised code section 2903.01a, as charged in count four of the indictment. First firearm specification, we, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count four of the indictment. Second firearm specification, we, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed the firearm, brandished the firearm, indicated that he possessed the firearm, or he used it to facilitate the offense of aggravated murder as charged in count four of the indictment. Course of conduct specification. We, the jury, having found the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of the aggravated murder of Michael Kuznick, further find and specify that the defendant is also guilty of the purposeful killing or attempt to kill two or more persons, to wit, Michael Kuznick and Trina K. Tomola Kuznick, as charged in count four of the indictment. Okay. We, the jury, further, this is the next uh, specification, felony murder. We, the jury, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit kidnapping, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design, as charged in count four of the indictment. Next felony murder specification, we, the jury, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing or attempting to commit aggravated bur burglary, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count four of the indictment. The next felony murder specification, we, the jury, further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did commit the offense while he was committing, attempting to commit, or fleeing immediately after committing, or attempting to commit aggravated robbery, and either the offender was the principal offender in the commission of the aggravated murder, or if not the principal offender, committed the aggravated murder with prior calculation and design as charged in count four of the indictment. Okay. Count five, aggravated robbery. From this point forward, I'm going to announce the charge and the verdict. I'm going to cut through reading all of the verbiage. Count five, aggravated robbery, guilty. Firearm specification as to uh, count five. The jury finds that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. Second firearm specification. We, the jury in this case, further find and specify that the defendant did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. Count number six, aggravated robbery. We, the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn, do find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated robbery. They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed it, brandished it, indicated that he possessed it or used it to facilitate the offense. Count number seven, aggravated robbery. The defendant finds him guilty. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. With regard to the second firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person under, or under his control and used it to facilitate the offense. Count number eight, aggravated robbery. We, the jury in this case, being duly impaneled and sworn, do find the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, guilty of aggravated robbery. Furthermore, they find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense. Second firearm specification, they do find that he did have a firearm on or about his or under his control and use it to facilitate the offense. Count eight, aggravated burglary. This uh, jury finds the defendant guilty of aggravated burglary. They further find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. The second gun specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control and use it to facilitate the offense of aggravated burglary as charged in count nine of the indictment. 
Count number 10, aggravated burglary. They find him guilty of aggravated burglary. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. Second firearm specification, that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control and used it to facilitate the offense. Count number 11, aggravated burglary. They find him guilty of that charge. With regard to the first firearm specification, they find he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. While committing the offense of ag burglary as charged in count 11 of the indictment, Second firearm specification, they find he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control and possessed it or used it to facilitate the offense as charged in count 11. Count 12, aggravated burglary. They find him guilty of aggravated burglary. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control as to the first firearm specification. They thought that he they further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control and use it to facilitate the offense of aggravated burglary. With regard to count 13, kidnapping, they find the defendant guilty of kidnapping. It's charged in count 13. First firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of kidnapping is charged in count 13. Second firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and used it to facilitate the offense of kidnapping as charged in count 13. Count 14, kidnapping, they find the defendant guilty of kidnapping. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control as to the first firearm specification. As to the second firearm specification, they find he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control and use it to facilitate the offense. Count number 15, murder. They find the defendant guilty of murder in count 15. With regard to the first firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of murder. With regard to the second firearm specification, there it is. Yes, okay. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and used it to facilitate the offense. As to count 16, they find him guilty of the charge of murder under count 16. They find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense of murder as charged in count 16 of the indictment. They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and used it to facilitate the offense as to the second specification. Count number 17, uh, that's the charge of felonious assault. The jury finds the defendant guilty of felonious assault in count 17 of the indictment. They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or, or under his control while committing the offense of felonious assault as charged in count 17. With regard to the second firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and used it to facilitate the offense. Count number 18, felonious assault. This, this, this jury finds the defendant guilty of felonious assault as charged under count 18. They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. With regard to the second firearm specification, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or, and under his control and indicated that he possessed it or used it to facilitate the offense of felonious assault as charged in count 18 of the indictment. Count 19, felonious assault, this jury finds the defendant guilty of felonious assault as charged under count 19. First firearm specification, we the jury in this case further find and specify that the defendant, Joseph McAlpin, did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. With regard to the second firearm specification under count 19, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and used it to facilitate the offense. Count number 20. <clears throat> felonious assault. They find the defendant guilty of felonious assault under count number 20. They further find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. And under the second firearm specification, they find that he did have it under his control and used it to facilitate the offense. With regard to count 23, grand theft, they find the defendant guilty of grand theft as charged in count 23. 
They further find and specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control. While committing the offense, with regard to the second firearm specification, they further specify that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed it, brandished it, or used it to facilitate the offense of grand theft as charged in count 23. Count 24, grand theft, they find the defendant guilty. As charged in count 24, they find that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while he committed the offense. With regard to the fire, second firearm specification, the jury finds that he did have a firearm on or about his person or under his control while committing the offense and displayed it, brandished it, indicated that he possessed it or used it to facilitate the offense. A grand theft is charged in count 24 of the indictment. Count 25, injuring animals. This jury has found the defendant guilty of injuring animals. With regard to count 26, cruelty to animals. This jury finds the defendant guilty of cruelty to animals. Finally, with regard to count 21, which was tried to the court, the court finds the defendant guilty of having a weapon while under disability and makes a further finding of guilt as to the notice of prior conviction and repeat violent offender specifications as laid out in counts 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That concludes the reading of the verdicts. Anything further, Mr. McAlvin? Um, Very well. Uh, I am going to now do what's called poll the jury. The alternates are not involved in this decision process here, so you will not answer. I'll just ask juror number one. And the question I'm going to ask you is basically, did I read your verdicts correctly, and do you agree in that verdict? Juror number one? Yes, yes. or no? Two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Six? Yes. Seven? Yes. Eight? Yes. Nine? Yes. Ten? Yes. 11? Yes. 12? Yes. Very good. The jury has been polled. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, um, as a result of conviction of, of counts one through four with various specifications, we will reconvene Monday uh, for the second phase of this case. Uh, and, and we will discuss that. Uh, we'll get into that on Monday. It's not going to be as long a process as what you've been through. A few days probably is all. You will be sequestered once again during the deliberation process, but not before. We re do you require anything else of this jury at this point in time? No, you're not. Okay. Mr. McAlphin? No, you're not. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, go back there. I'll give you some parting instructions about other matters. Okay. Please rise. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What's that? I said I was here. I said I was in jury parts. I'm going to ask some of my ways to the jury board before. Oh, okay. Everybody, please be seated, Mr. McAlpin. Um, yes, I was. <coughs> I was asked, Your Honor, uh, for as my previous situation with the jail, you know, to let me move people after Friday's acts that I remain in the same side that I'm already on due to previous problems I already had. Well, you've got to prepare for next week. Yes, I'm going to prepare for next week. I'm just asking that I not be moved from regarding the situation of the size of the jail, that I continue to stay where I'm at until the departure of this post. I think uh, that's probably reasonable. I want you to have access to the computer and all oh, that. Yes, I still have access. I don't want to. You know, now they take me and move me to the other side. All right. We'll, we'll make sure we get word to the jail. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Please rise. Okay, folks, we are now in recess until Monday next. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Um.